What's up beautiful people? So today I'm going to show you all how I maintain my boots. Uh, it's a small process. There's many ways to do it, but this is how I get it done. Let's get to it. We're going to use many different types of brushes. This is the, the big version of the horsehair brush. This is what I'm used to finish the polish. We're going to use a small brush. This is how I'm going to apply the leather conditioner. This is a different brush. We'll be using this to apply the polish on the boots. And you can use a toothbrush or you can use one of these. This is like to clean the welt and the edges of the boot and any different places of the boot where it's really hard to get into. And for the products, we're going to use Cadillac leather conditioner. It's really good. It's really good stuff and I like it because it's not so shiny and it's just a subtle finish and it cleans the boot at the same time. You can just use this, you don't have to use polish but I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish. And we also have this, it's Angelus Cleaner. Uh, we can use this or you can also use saddle soap. So today I don't have saddle soap so we're going to use some of this stuff. It's good to clean off dirt on different types of leather like suede, uh, rubber, canvas, plastic, vinyl. So it's really good stuff. And this is the polish I use. It's called Eloso. I really like this polish compared to other polishes because it doesn't have so much oil and grease. So it gives a nice subtle finish. You should check this out. Uh, I don't think you can find it in the US, usually just in Mexico. So you'll probably have to ship it over. But you can contact me if you're interested to try this out. Use a, a roll club polish rag. I just got these done. They're not on a website or nothing, so yeah, just trying it out. And today we're going to polish my Roll Club Underdogs. They're pretty dusty. I use them for work almost every day since it's been about a month now. They build a nice patina and they have a, a lot of dirt and dust. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so first step is let's take the laces off the boots. So if you're interested in any of these products, I'll put them on my website and you can buy them from there. Or usually like if you find a local shoe repair supply store, they always have these type of products or something similar. So you can always look around. So first let's brush off all the dust or whatever, any crud you got in there on the welt. You can use your toothbrush or you can use one of these. It's more convenient because the bristles are bigger so you can get in there really good hopefully you guys like this video I've seen a lot of people ask like oh how can I clean my boots or how can I maintain them so hopefully this helps you guys out So you have to have all the dust off. What you do is we start with the Angelus cleaner. So you're gonna have to cut, uh, I did something ghetto. I cut like a Coke bottle in half and I put some water in there. And what you do is uh, you put a couple of drops of this stuff. You know, you're good to go. All right. You can use the same brush. You can use the same brush or a toothbrush. We're gonna put that in there. So basically, this is like saddle soap. You know, you want it to foam up. And the cool thing is like, soap has fats in it, so it'll help the leather as well. All right, let's put this inside. Yeah, be, par be careful when you make that little cup out of a Coke bottle, so. Cleaning the boots with the Angelus cleaner, or you could use saddle soap. 
This is like a thorough clean, like some people don't even do this. You can just straight put the leather conditioner. Like the leather conditioner I use, it's almost like all in one. But I want to show you the whole process. And also, it'll probably be like a 10 second video, you know. And sorry, sorry I haven't been making videos lately. It's because I've been really working and... It's a, it's a pretty time consuming to make these videos for you guys, but I'm going to do my best to continue this YouTube, this YouTube channel, you know, and build this community, you know, it's pretty cool because I haven't found any like boot channels about making boots or repairing boots. So this is what it looks like. All right. So we're going to let this dry. So right now I'm letting the boots dry with my fan. I literally took my boots off and literally cleaning them. Look, I don't, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing socks right now. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. So after the boot dries up, we're going to use Cadillac Leather Lotion. You can use this and that's the final step. But we're going to go all the way through and I'm going to show you all how I put, apply this on the boot. What I do is I use a brush. So you put a little bit on the boot. Oh damn, it's brand new, sorry. So let's get to it. So we're going to put some of this stuff on the boot. This is literally boot porn now, if you know what I'm explaining. <laughs> no, okay, let's cut that out. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this leather lotion. Yeah, I really like this leather lotion because it, it, you can also build like a subtle slight polish to this, to the leather. Just with this alone and it's not so oily that's what I don't like like some people put lots of oil on their boot I don't really like doing that because the leather tends to like turn too soft and it, it stretches too much this is just right in my opinion I put a little bit more that's the I usually tell people to apply like some type of conditioner every month to keep their boots maintained. And this is a uh, Horween CXL, so it has a lot of oils and waxes. So it could go over maybe a couple months without even, you don't have to worry about it. What's so good about Chrome XL is with just polish or even this leather lotion, all the scratches go away. So if you're not into the patina and like you keep you like to keep your boots very sharp, then you should just put this lotion and all the scratches go away and they'll be ready to wear, you know, casually out. Yeah, so we just finished putting the Cadillac leather conditioner and let's let it dry for a bit. As you can see area has a nice shine to it. This is really good stuff. You guys should check it out. It's not so oily or waxy, you see? It's just, just right. As you can see, we just got done putting the leather conditioner. I let it dry for about 15 minutes. As you can see, it has a nice shine to it. For me, this is good, this is good enough for me, but if you wanna keep the shine a little longer, what you do, you gotta add a polish. So next step is, we're gonna use El Oso Polish. Right now we're using Nutro, which means neutral. And this is like, this is a, basically like a clear, a clear polish. It's a natural polish that you can put in any leather and it won't change the color. 
And if you say, for example, if you want a, a black, you have a black boot and you want to make the boot darker, you got to put the black, black polish because it has polish with some cream on it. So it actually darkens the boot. But for, for if you want to keep a patina for your boots and you want to have that different brown, black aging process, then I suggest using Nutro, which is Nutro in Spanish. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's open this up. This is what the Nutro looks like, natural. So we're gonna get something like this, or you can use a rag. We're gonna get some of this. And let's apply it evenly all over the boot. In the beginning, it's gonna look like a matte finish. But once you apply some nice heat, it'll start burnishing the leather and it'll give you a polish. And what I, what I, what I like about also product is the leather, I mean the leather, the polish isn't so heavy. So I feel like it still lets the leather breathe. And especially horse hide because horse hide has smaller pores. And this boot's made out of horse hide. And horse hide is really tough to breathe compared to like cow hide. But it also does, does it well. Okay, so we just got done putting all over the boot. Next step is we're going to use the roll club rag. So let's get to it. So you got to do like some circular motions to heat up the, the wax. And the more you use this rag, the more wax it'll have and polish, it'll be easier to buff out over time. This is a brand new rag, so we still got to break it in. I usually polish my boots sitting down so I can hold on to the boot, but let's see if we can get it done this way. Oh yeah, it's getting a nice shine. All right, we're done with the polish, so let's close that up because it dries. Alright, so we're pretty good with the with the rag. The final step is you get your big horse hair brush. This is much easier with this type of brush because it's really big and I've been using this for a long time so it even has like polish in there so it'll instantly give a nice polish. See, as you can see, you can still see the, the patina on the boot, but now it just has a nice shine because we use natural polish. And you can keep going and going and build up the polish, build it up, build it up, and you'll get a really nice like military spit shine polish. But for me, I like it very subtle and I enjoy seeing the characteristics of the leather more compared to a super mirror shine finish. So for me, this is good enough for me. 
So we'll just put the laces back and I'll give you guys a before and after shot of how they compare before the polish and after. There you have it guys, so thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you guys understand more how to maintain your boots. So I suggest keeping them maintained, polish them, condition them one time a month, and you're good to go. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I always look forward to making these videos for you all. And if you're interested, if you're interested in any of these products, I'll try to put them on my website, or just contact me, or just put a comment down below. I always look forward to reading those comments, and thank you all, appreciate it.